Hello my friends, welcome to another edition of The Walker's Way. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the toilet seat on your toilet. So if you got one that's all chipped up or broken or just really nasty, I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So grab yourself a pair of gloves, a flat bladed screwdriver, and depending on the status of your toilet, maybe a level 4 biohazard suit. And I'm going to meet you at the toilet. Before you change out your toilet seat, you need to go buy a new one. And as you can see, there is a profusion of seats available. Now I was going to say plethora of seats available, but I used that word in another video. So today's word is profusion. Now, I could have said there's just a large amount of toilet seats available, but I like to keep the electricians out there, you know, confused. The main criteria before you go shopping for your toilet seat is knowing what shape it is. And there are two main shapes, round and elongated. Now, can you put a round seat on an elongated toilet? Yeah. Can you put an elongated seat on a round toilet? Sure. Now, will they not look right and look funny? Oh yeah. So make sure you know what kind you need. The round ones have, well, um, a round hole in them and the elongated ones have an elongated hole, which is you know, longer than it is wide. From this picture here taken at my local Home Depot, you can see there's about eh, 18 round seats and about 21 elongated seats on display. The cheapest one is about $8. The high-end one is about $40. So what's the difference? Well, $32. Now, that's some elementary math right there. And they said I was never going to need it. There's really not much difference between them. I mean, you got white painted wood, you got some stained wood, uh, you got plastic ones, you got the ones with the soft closed lids on them. Um, and, you know, then you got those disgusting padded ones. Some of them are quick release types, so you can remove the seat easily without any tools uh, to make cleaning the bowl a lot easier. Uh, some of them still have the metal hinges, where most of them are plastic, but there's still some metal ones out there. In the stores, you're usually gonna find white or bone, which is kind of a light tan color. You can also go online and find a vast array of different types of toilet seats, colors and styles, um, but usually they're still going to be either round or elongated. Unless you got a specialty toilet, there are some out there with some square hole seats. Um, there's some specialty toilets out there. There's some that have the uh, compacted, elongated. If you have one of these specialty toilets, you might be forced to go to the manufacturer to get a replacement seat, or you can go online. You can pretty much find everything online nowadays. If you just need something basic, nothing fancy, because all you want to do is get in there, do your business, and get out, then you can't go wrong with that $8 uh, round seat from Home Depot. If you want the elongated one, it's like 14 bucks. Now that you purchased your seat of choice, yeah, let's go install it. What's holding your toilet seat on is just a plastic bolt with a plastic nut on the bottom. Okay. And those bolts go in through here. So the easiest way to do it is take a, a flat screwdriver and just pop up these little covers. And that'll expose your bolt heads. Now they're going to be probably going to be Phillips head, but I'm going to tell you most time you use a Phillips screwdriver, it's going to round those out. So I always use a suitable flat head screwdriver. And then what you want to do is you want to hold the nut on the bottom and just untwist it. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey, so we're going counterclockwise to loosen it. Just do that until the nut's off. Now these nuts have a little wing on them. Some might have two wings. What that is, is when you tighten them down, those wings will go up in there and they'll hit the side of the toilet underneath. So you don't have to hold them or use any kind of socket. Go ahead and remove these. There you go. Then you can just lift it straight off. There's your bolts come through. Now this one's not so bad. But normally, this area here is going to be really nasty. And that's all your pee stains and everything in there. So you want to clean it off before you put your new one on. 
Then we have our new toilet seat. Flip up the little covers. And just drop your bolts down through. And then you're going to hold these. Now if you look at these, it's kind of a rounded side and a flat side. The rounded side goes up towards the toilet. So you put those on the bottom. And then just tighten it down. You said once you get almost right to the top, these nuts will hold by themselves because those little wings will hit the side of the toilet. And then you don't have to do anything. Now I don't tighten them up right away. You just get the nuts on there, get it so you can still reposition the toilet seat. So what you want to do is you want to make sure the toilet is, the seat is centered on your bowl, and then you can go ahead and tighten it down. And if you notice, I'm not holding it from the bottom because those nuts, those little wings on the nuts are holding them in place. There you go. Close your covers. And you're good to go. As you can see, it's not very difficult at all. I mean, you can do the whole thing in less than five minutes. I mean, this video is what, seven minutes long? And that includes the intro and all my babbling in the beginning? So yeah, this is something easily you can do yourself in less than five minutes. You know what else you can do in less than five minutes? You can take that finger, drop it on down, hit that thumbs up like button. That tells me that you like what I'm putting out there. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button. That says, hey, not only do you like what I'm doing, but you want to see more of it. So this is Brian with the Wagger's Way saying thank you and good luck with your projects.